Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the outfit in this scene to fit a body morph that changes the body shape. Here I have Dawn in the default shape and I have loaded body type 9. You're gonna see that when I apply this morph the clothing doesn't follow. What does that mean? It means the outfit doesn't have this morph built in, otherwise it would follow. Uh, that's usually what happens. Uh, most clothing don't have um, the morphs built in, the ones that you buy from third party. So let's see how we can resolve that. This is in Poser. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to texture with line. This is going to show me the, um, the wireframe. This is going to be helpful when I do this. Um, okay, what you want to do is select the outfit. You can do that easily here in the list. I'm going to select the shorts. You come here to figure and then copy morphs from. Once you click it, it's going to show um, a box asking what figure you want to copy the morphs from. And it's going to be from Dawn. When I click OK, we're going to see the first problem is Type 9 has some extra morphs that, that uh, help with the uh, pose corrections. And they are not showing here. And uh, we have to make them show. So let's cancel this. It's good that this happened because I'm going to show you how to resolve it. You cancel here. Um, you see this little triangle here in the upper right corner? You click it, and second from last option is Show Hidden Parameters. When I do that, I want to have Dawn selected. So you see here, I have only one dial showing. When I do that, Show Hidden Parameters enabled. Now see, all the hidden morphs show up. And this is good. This is what we want. So here, select the Shorts again. Go to Figure. Copy Morphs from. And something different is going to happen this time. Okay, make sure Dawn is selected. See, now all the hidden morphs that do the uh, post correction on the shorts are going to show up and they must be copied. Otherwise, the shorts are not going to follow poses correctly. Okay, once you have the morphs you want selected, click OK. And look what happens to the outfit. It now fits the figure. Um, the fitting, um, it's a hit and miss. It may be good, it may be bad, but uh, this is normal. Don't worry. Poser has a special tool that was made exactly to correct things like this. Like the little wrinkles here, there's some wrinkles here, some distortion there. We're going to fix all that, and it's pretty easy. To do that, on the upper left corner here, you have the pointing uh, um, hand here with the pointing finger. Same morphing tool. Click on it. It opens this little uh, window here. You click on select or, cre or create morph. Create a new one. Uh, choose a name that you like. I'm going to leave it as default, which is custom morph. Now, you can use a brush over the shorts. Okay, make sure the short is selected. In my case, it is. Okay, now, first thing I want to smooth things out. So, here I'm going to select the smoothing brush. I'm going to use maximum magnitude and let's start smoothing things out. As you can see, this tool was created exactly for this. Uh, because this is a very common thing we do all the time. So, smoothing over here, over here. I'm not going to do it perfectly in this tutorial because I'm just showing you how to do it. And it's going to be the same with all other outfits you may have. All right. So, this is one thing, smoothing out uh, distortions and wrinkles. Another issue that commonly happens um, is poke through. If you turn around, you're going to see here, oh yeah, there are some poke throughs here and here, some distortion hit there. Okay, I'm going to fix the distortions first with the 
since I already have the right tool for it selected. Here we go. All right, now let's see how to fix the poke this. Uh, coming back here to the morphing tool, there is this down arrow that says pull. That's what I want. I want to pull the clothing away from the skin. I'm going to select pull. There are three options. The first one is the one I know. I want to pull away from the surface. Um, I like to do this with very low values like 0 0.03, which um, makes the brush not so sensitive to motion, so things don't explode when I touch anything. So let's go here. As you can see, I run the brush over the pull throughs and they go away like magic. No wonder the tool, remember, was created for this originally. Um, once, you, once you're happy with the results, you can close the morphing tool, go back to texture mode. All right, I don't have any textures loaded, but you get the point. Now the outfit follows the morph. When I select Dawn and go to Body, um, you will notice, oh yeah, I can disable Show Hidden Parameters now. I don't need this anymore. Um, the morph is fully applied, and you're going to notice that when I zero the morph, now the outfit follows the, uh, the body shape, and that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.